Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the structure and function of the ribosome. When you look at the pictures of this plant and animal cell, you can see tiny dots on the ER and in the cytoplasm. These dots are the ribosomes. But why are they important to the cell? Ribosomes are small protein factories found in cells. Ribosomes are found in plant, animal, and bacteria cells. The average eukaryotic cell has approximately 10 million ribosomes. If you take a look at this picture of a ribosome, you will notice a large subunit and a small subunit, which both contain protein and RNA. In plant and animal cells, ribosomes are found floating in the cytoplasm or bound to the rough ER. Free-floating ribosomes create proteins to be used within the cell, while ribosomes attached to the ER create proteins that are either bound to the cell membrane or are used outside of the cell. Ribosomes use a process called translation to create proteins. In basic terms, here's what happens. mRNA, or messenger RNA, that has been created at the nucleus leaves the nucleus and travels to the ribosome. Next, tRNA then travels to the ribosome and reads the mRNA in triplets called codons. The tRNA has an amino acid attached to one end. As the tRNA reads the mRNA, the strings of the amino acid are put together in the correct order and creates a protein. So why is a protein important? Proteins are used for many functions inside and outside of the cell. Proteins are used as building blocks. Your skin and tendons are made up of protein. Some proteins help with digestion. Proteins help with muscle contraction and carry oxygen around the body. These tiny organelles called ribosomes play a very important function in helping organisms stay alive. If you'd like to know more about proteins, I'll attach a link to a video I made on proteins below. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.